Hello everyone. Happy New Year. Happy 2024. Oh my goodness. How nice is this little flare? It is Wednesday the 3rd of January today and we are back with weekly vlogs. This will be just the second half of the week because I had the best New Year's. It was obviously New Year's Eve on Sunday and I went to Wildlands Festival in Brisbane. It was actually my housemate Nathan's birthday on the 30th. So we went to Brisbane on the 30th. We also went out. We went out for dinner and drinks and stuff and then ended up partying for quite a while that night as well for Nathan's birthday. And then, yeah, festival was the next day. Had the best time ever. Lewd, um has really got me in my drum and bass era. I loved his set. And then Rufus um, at midnight for the countdown was just like euphoric. It was amazing. So that was incredible. So then we came back to Goldie on Monday the 1st. And of course, I was a little bit tired. So we've had a bit of a slow start to the year. And I'm just trying really hard to not make myself wrong or bad for that. And just know that I actually do have time. And it is okay that I haven't like done my reset, done my goals yet. Like usually I'm the kind of person that's like done them before Christmas. But this year... It's been a bit different and I'm okay with it because this year is going to be a fucking huge year. So I'm ready. I'm ready now. And I'm actually handing over my role with Georgie today pretty much. Yesterday was a big handover day where I got Lani set up with everything she needs to do and know. Obviously this training has been in the works for a couple of months now. I've trained her up with everything. And these last few days yesterday and today are more so just actually her actioning the things and starting to do the role with my guidance alongside her which has been so like surreal and bittersweet and all the things but I'm actually just over at her place now um so we can hang out because unfortunately the office got a little bit damaged in the super wild weather that we had on the Gold Coast so everyone's working from home and Georgie's still away on holidays so we're just working from home today just us two I'm really excited but Oh my god, this this vlog, I really wanted to vlog this week because this is just, I can't wait for Ellie. Well, I can wait. I don't want to wish away my life and I'm, I'm being more conscious of saying I can't wait because like we've got to live in the moment. But I just am like so excited to see what Ellie in a year's time will be doing where she'll be reflecting back on this vlog and this week because it's going to be... A massive year I achieved literally everything on my vision board for 2023 and just having that evidence and knowing the power within yourself when you put your mind to something you can achieve it is like it's so empowering and I guess motivating and expanding to know that you can do that to then set goals again for the next year so anyway let's go in and get started on work hello Hi. oh she's flashing dead guys <laughs> Lani, have you ever been on my YouTube? I don't think so. I don't think so. I've like I, really cropped it. Sorry, I fully like pushed my chair out so I could be in the Hi. Frame. Um, yeah, you haven't been in it because I haven't vlogged since like October last year. <laughs> Wait, why does it look out of focus? It is a bit out of okay. focus. Sure. Sorry. And guys, guess where we are? We literally, this is so bizarre. So Lani, introduce yourself, doll. Oh, I need to hi everybody. Um, I'm Lani. I, um... <laughs> Is the new brand coordinator for Georgia Stevenson. Yes, and previously I was at NH, so it was kind of like a smooth, yes. smooth transition yes. into the role. Um, but Ellie and I have so many similarities. It's really, it's really kind of weird. It's really bizarre. Yeah. So first of all, we're in my old house, which yeah. is now Lani's <laughs> house. So if you remember, I'll have to quickly show Do you before look. it dies. But like, this is. This is the kitchen. This was my old kitchen. Yeah. And now Lani lives here and with now her it's mama. Fine. Isn't that the best? And she decorated it so cute. I feel like Sarah would get offended if I said it's better than ours because it was all Sarah's furniture, but like it low key is. I'm obsessed. Print little, like, oh, we, yeah. If you guys remember, we used to have like a big tree there and like TV cabinet, like same little setup. And this is Nala. The sweet little Labradoodle, she's the cutest little dog. Lani has Sarah's room, old room, and then your housemate has my old room. Yeah. And it's just the coolest thing ever. I know. And then we, me and Georgie, because obviously Lani 
used to work at Naked Harvest. Is that weird? It is. Say? It is weird. I'm like, what do you mean well, used to? Well, we all still work in the same office, obviously, yeah. but Lani was the marketing assistant for Naked Harvest. And so she was perfect for my role. Georgie pitched it to her and I said, hell yeah, that sounds amazing. And then we also recently discovered that your first car is the same as my first car. Yeah. Like the car she drives now is the same as the first car I had. Which so, is, same car, mm -hmm. same house, same, basically same job. Same job. <laughs> and I'm so, I'm so, you know, yeah. we're like little sissies. Yeah. Like, and we're not actually that far apart in age either. No. It's really weird too. Yeah. Very similar. So, that's fun. I hope we still hang out. I know. <laughs> Like please, and, oh, and we go to the same, same gym. Actually, same gym. We go to the same gym, so I'll still see you. I'm all sort the of time. see you every day, every morning at five a.m. Yeah. When I'm at my brightest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, guys. I didn't vlog this morning, but I did go to the gym for the first time this year. I can vouch for that. We were there. We did it. It was a good session, actually. So that's that. We're just working on our laptops. Nothing exciting to report. But that's, that's that. That's the update. That's our story. Uh, that's our love story. <laughs> I literally was trying to figure out with Lani yesterday how we met and I couldn't really piece yeah. it together. Like there's a few crossovers we had yeah. like years ago now. Years. Two years ago probably. So I don't really know what the defining moment was that no. we met but we have a lot of mutual connections. Our yeah. paths were meant to cross. They really were. Yeah. They really were. And like, isn't that cute? I mean, come on. Hello. <laughs> That's so weird. I know. I love it. But yeah, it looks so cute guys. I'm obsessed. So we can all... um rest assured that our old house is getting very yeah, low. She's being taken care yeah. of. Very much. Good morning everyone. I totally forgot I was vlogging but I promise to myself and to you it's the last time I'm gonna say that because I'm actually so excited to get back into vlogging. Literally like everything I do way back it's kind of feeling like 20, 2019 I think it was. First year out of school. Now nah, maybe even during school I was really good at vlogging like every little thing I did and I don't know if that's interesting or boring or if like like is vlogging every single thing I do more exciting or less exciting I don't know even the mundane stuff who knows but we're gonna try and do that because I feel like the last few vlogs have just been like when I'm doing something specific for work and then I show you and then that's it so I'm very excited because these vlogs moving forward my channel it won't just be like it'll be all my own life it won't be like working with Georgie and it being like her life but from my perspective kind of thing which i'm so excited about so yesterday when i left lani's house that was pretty much me done my work for georgie which feels so bizarre and so strange i'm still like we still need to do the official like log lani into everything and log me out and i'm gonna like fully just like delete my chrome um account <laughs> so that i don't have to go through and like delete all the passwords and everything um, but that's gonna happen, which is so exciting. G's just on holidays this week still, so it feels like very anticlimactic, but hopefully like on Monday, which will be the 8th of Jan, it'll be like Lani and Georgie together officially starting and then I'll officially say goodbye. Maybe we get dinner or something. I don't know, I'll have to message Georgie and see because it feels very strange not seeing <laughs> for my last day. So today is an early Kate day. I actually fully slept through my alarm. I was meant to go to gym, but I'm really glad I didn't because I woke up feeling like so groggy and so exhausted just because obviously I had a big weekend and I need to catch up on sleep and I haven't been. I've been going to sleep at like 10 and then waking up at 4.30 for gym. So, well, I did that the night before, just one, just once. So I had a bit of a sleep in, went on my beautiful walk along the beach and got a coffee instead, which was exactly what my body needed and now I have done a bit of admin this morning sent some invoices off and I'm ready to do one of the final intro to freelance one-on-one -on -one calls that I have I've actually got two today so they should be the last forever I think unless anyone like sneakily looks in because I've still got it open I just haven't been promoting it so that's what I'm doing but I will chat to you after content creation for them so I would go my sort of process is like planning the content strategy getting my ideas together all right intro to freelance call is done I'm making a late late brekkie but I'm so excited also this is giving me good juju and good vibes for 2024 
that's the most perfect I've ever seen. So random, but something I did do yesterday, I obviously spent the whole day at Lani's working and then I went and did a big grocery shop in the afternoon because we had to clean out the pantry because we had those weird little weevil things in some of the food because all of us were away over Christmas and New Year's and there was like some you know, moldy bread happening and it was just like not a vibe. So we had to clean everything out, which is actually really good to reset for the year because I probably wouldn't have done it, to be honest. And this is how we're looking now. This is my shelf, Sarah's shelf down here. And I think she looks so cute. And I also then did a stock up like after that. And I, at the grocery store, stocked up on just like all the pantry staples, like rices and some noodles and things because I'm trying to eat at home more this year. Even just like some snacks and stuff because... I feel like if I don't have anything that I can actually put together a meal, like tuna and rice, noodles, even though that's not very <laughs> a very complete meal, but if I don't have those things, I find it very easy to make the excuse of like, oh, I don't have anything, I'll just Uber Eats or I'll just walk down the street, like the main street and then get takeaway, which I don't want to do this year because I am in saving mode. I have deleted the Uber Eats app. Love that for me. In saying that, that's about as far as I've thought of my goals for 2024. Don't know if I mentioned at the start, but I was away from the 23rd of December and I finished work on the 22nd and then literally left first thing on the 23rd and then got back on the 1st and went straight back to work on the 2nd. So I genuinely just feel like I have not had a single minute to reflect on 2023, clear out stuff, redo my vision board, get started on 2024. So I'm gonna do it a bit later this year, which is fine, but I really do think I'll do it this weekend. I've been spending way too long on screens. I will be going back to it after a short intermission, but I have to go to the post office. And I literally was like, oh, I'm not gonna vlog. And then I was like, seriously, are you doing anything more exciting? No. And I've just been sitting on my laptop all day, which is just boring content. I will, if you guys want me to literally detail every little task I'm doing, I can. But it was just emails, getting back to people, getting back to inquiries about my course and stuff like that. Which is all very exciting, but boring to watch. So I bought these shoes on Boxing Day sales. And uh, I kind of don't want to get them out because I packaged them all back up. They're little sandals. I'm obsessed with the colour. I've been eyeing off a sandal in that exact colour from Elias May for ages. They've got so many options and I couldn't decide. Um, settle on those and they're the most uncomfortable thing I've ever put on my foot so I'm returning them. I went to the post office, sent my shoes back and also got the cutest package from Fun Day Sweets. They all, they make these cute little single packet gluten free lollies and I think they're like sugar free as well or like very low sugar. There's snakes, red frogs and sour peaches. It came in this little basket because they're promoting that they are Stocked in Coles now, which is amazing. Good morning. I forgot I was vlogging yesterday. I'm <laughs> going to the gym. Gym is done. I didn't film because I got a bit scared. <laughs> but it was up a session today. And my arms are jelly. I'm gonna have a shower, have a brekkie, and get ready to start with my new client, Laura Jade. I'm so excited. I don't know if I have explained too much about her, but she is incredible. She reached out to me like maybe back in August last year because she owns a branded marketing agency. She's owned it for years and years and she's really successful. Her branded marketing agency works a lot with um, property developers and new 
like venues and stuff like that in like the property space and that kind of thing so she actually worked on the branding and everything for the new development down in Kira which is now open it was the Kira Beach House and Kira Beach Hotel which she actually invited me to the opening of that which was so cool and so fun but yeah when she first reached out it was prior to that opening and she was inquiring about me either doing the social media management for that venue or potentially being her assistant in some capacity and helping her with her content so I said to her I'm only available one day a week because going into 2024 I wanted to be full-time in my business but having a client still in that kind of executive assistant realm was really important to me and it was actually something I put out to the universe and said to the girls prior to Laura reaching out to me I said I want to finish up at the end of the year but I don't want to fully you know not be working in the thing that I'm teaching because I was bringing out this course EA Foundations so this just could not have been more perfect for her to reach out to me and I'm so excited so I'm going to be helping her build a personal brand from scratch she's doing a podcast she's doing all the things and it's going to be so much fun so today is our first brainstorming session together for the venture we had a couple of meetings and we met up for the first time I actually went to this like one day retreat thing in Byron when we met for the first time which was such a cool experience but yeah she's incredible I'm so excited we're just gonna meet at Palm Springs my favorite cafe and have like a big work stint brainstorming chunk of time but yeah I'm sure I will find out more about exactly what the role is going to entail considering I'll just be doing it one day a week however that looks I will I'm yet to discuss but I'm so excited and open to all the opportunities and also you guys might know my YouTube fam that one day I really really want to own my own cafe and then that will lead on to more property commercial property development stuff like that so the fact that that's like the world that she's in and she reached out to me and I wanted to still be doing this kind of work it's just like it's just so meant to be it's like unexplainable how much like this is the perfect role and I didn't even know it was until it came across me if that makes sense and that's like the exact same situation with how Georgie reached out to me to be her assistant like two years ago too which is just it's so crazy and I just ugh, I don't even know how to explain but you just being in alignment and knowing what you want and being so clear and working towards it every day things like that do just fall into place and this is just a perfect example of that so I'm very excited but I'm gonna get ready sorry I just finished my breaking I need to leave in about 20 25 minutes and I am setting up the notion for Laura Jade because you guys know I use notion for everything I used it for my whole job at Georgie and I literally at Georgie <laughs> like working for Georgie and I literally didn't need any other platform all my life is on there my content calendar template is on there I'll I'll show you what I've got so far it's not much yet but I'm just going to build out the basics and then I'll add to it today in our meeting. So I've just got her and then I've got some of the inspiration that she showed me so that I kind of understand Oops, her vision and then softwares that we want to potentially use and then the content calendar template. So these are just all my examples that I have in the template, but obviously I'll change it. It's just nice to have the bones there um, and I'll adjust it for Laura when we get into it today. a good meeting went for three and a half hours but we both feel like we've only scraped the surface Laura is just she has the most incredible brain and just so much to offer and so much to bring to the world and to Instagram and oh, I'm so so excited to be alongside someone and to still be in this EA space and not feel like I'm just like working by myself every single day hi jasmine a very late lunch same as yesterday i'm obsessed i keep forgetting to vlog at night time but this is what i'm having for dinner which the last couple of nights Ooh. so we have the most basic aussie dinner you've ever seen two sausages some chippies i did them in the air fryer but then put them in the pan this is super random <laughs> 
I obviously just got out of the shower and I'm super red because I've been doing body scrubs, face scrubs, all the things. But I just thought I'd show you what my favourite skincare is because it's all running out and that's what made me think of it. I've been using this Hyaluronic Serum. It's my first bottle. I just finished it. I'm not 100% sure if I've noticed much of a difference, but I do like putting it on and I feel like it does something. <laughs> this is the moisturiser I use at night time. It's a high tide water cream and it feels like, like a really beautiful gel sort of feel like it's really thick and moisturizing i don't know if you can see and then i use this one in the morning which is just an spf 50 plus but it's a serum and it feels incredible again so lightweight and like not super greasy it actually feels like skincare i also use the cleanser but as you can see it's literally completely out it's all from alpha h i'll put my code on the screen um this is not paid but i do love them Oh my god guys it's been an hour since i finished at the gym washed my hair had a shower and it was one of those sessions where i still feel like i'm sweating now afterwards like an hour later it's also just a hot day but that was so intense but i'm really proud of how i pushed myself it was really good we had to do collectively in our team of three a 10 kilometer ski throughout the whole 45 minutes and just like power through in between the different exercises until we got to 10Ks. We didn't quite get there. I think I literally got to like high 8,000 8, meters. Anyway, it was good. And now I'm ready for a really beautiful weekend. I really need to update my vision board. So I'm gonna do the Do It For Your Future Self course. Georgie's like new year clarity course. Cause usually I do that at the very start of the year but I haven't even started it. So even though you're supposed to do like each module each day i obviously have access to the whole thing now so i might just try and do the whole thing over the weekend so i can feel like really refreshed and ready and like clear on my goals going into the work week even though i'm still wrapping my head around the fact that i can just do whatever i want on any day of the week like i kind of keep forgetting that i actually don't have to subscribe or like stick to a typical monday to friday nine to five like time frame like if i want to work today and then do be a bit more relaxed on Monday, I can. I'm probably gonna work <laughs> tomorrow and then still work during the week just because I wanna get super sorted and ahead. And there's so much that I want to get done, but let's go make some brekkie. I'm thinking I'm gonna make brekkie at home and then go and get a coffee down in Burley and take my notebook and like my phone and stuff and do the course and like do my journaling with my coffee down at the beach. It's not very good beach weather, so I won't actually like get in my swimmers and like lay on the sand, but I'll just like be in the nature. It'll be really nice, I think. I just finished deep cleaning my whole room and oh my God, the feeling. I feel incredible. Molly loves it. We just walked down to get a little coffee as my treat because I didn't get one straight after gym. I'm not going to lie, I was feeling the headache start to come on because usually I have it at like 6 or 7 in the morning. It's like 11.30 now, but so good. It actually has become kind of a rainy morning. So it's just been the best feeling to be inside being productive. I'll show you. I totally should have vlogged the process and like shown you before and after. Molly's looking a bit sad because we got a bit wet going down to get coffee <laughs> but there was just like clutter everywhere and I used to hate taking mirror selfies here because I that would be like my dumping ground you know how everyone has like a chair in their room where you put like what you're gonna wear again and like your bag and stuff that's like this corner when really it should just be my laundry basket and my little bin but this corner also was a problem there's just like a pile of like packages and stuff I needed to attend to building up in that corner as well so this year we're not going to add to that corner ever it's going to stay clear I've literally just got the basics and just my tarot or oracle cards I can't remember what they're called and then my journal and my book that I'm currently reading shoes stay the same this there was just kind of like shit like tucked in there just dusted all of that and got all my books in there I actually the main job was redoing my top shelf so that I had room for all the clutter that was here <laughs> to go up here so I got all my bags up here little handbags and stuff tote bags and whatever and then I moved my sunglasses rack 
to over this section here. I've got some candles there they need to burn and then just like tubs of random stuff. Actually this tub is a tub full of all my journals. I don't know if you can see, yeah. They're all the ones I've already written in and then those ones at the back standing up are blank ones. I also tried to fix this candle because I'm obsessed with it. Is this the coffee and coconut? Oh, it's the salted caramel one, second favorite. And I accidentally like let it all like hollow in the middle, you know, when you don't let it burn long enough. Oh my God. This is gonna work. If this stays alight and then it melts the layer on top, it'll all even out again. Oh, I'm so happy. I hate wasting nice things. Also random. <laughs> This is the coolest thing ever. I got it for my birthday. I think they got it on the Iconic and it's actually an electric chargeable lighter. I also cleaned my little pod coffee machine because she's not been used in a very long time and I'm honestly not sure if it still works 100%. As I said, I don't know if I told you, but I think this year is going to be making memories and money or making money and memories, whatever. Um, it's gonna be like my motto for the year. I still am yet to think of a word, but I'm, that's my job this weekend. So, speaking of, I will still treat myself to buying a coffee most days because it's genuinely my favorite thing in the entire world and it's like not an expensive habit. It just adds up over time. So, this, I'm trying to use it more, but just I'm not gonna be ridiculous and say, I'm never buying a coffee out because that's absurd. And now that I work from home completely 24 seven, it's the best excuse is to be able to purchase a coffee out so you can sit at the cafe and work. So that is still a really good thing that literally costs like $5 and then I can work somewhere different, which is amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna make some lunch and then get into my reflection for last year. Guys, it's Molly's birthday today. Holy. It's Sunday morning. I actually woke up as Sarah walked in the door. I can't believe I slept <laughs> until eight in the morning. It's really bizarre. But Molly, do you want to tell everyone how old you are? Beautiful. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> I am 11. Nah, Molly's 11, which we've just worked out is 65 in human years, but she still looks so young and youthful. She's been doing Pilates for the last couple of years. It's really helped, it's really paid off. Show me Molly, come here, come here, show me. Oh my, oh, she hates it. <laughs> Hello. How is it? Oh. <laughs> Ow. Are you still slightly wet, are you? <laughs> oh, you smell delicious. Look at you. Finished all my goals for next year. I did my ins and my outs list. I've done my word for the year. I've done my big goals for like the whole year for personal. I've done business goals that also link to my income. So I've actually broken it all down. I feel like last year where I went down, my downfall. Well, to be fair, last year I did achieve my income goal, which was great, but it was just by sheer hard work and not luck, but like there was no calculation. I just like kept working, kept checking my zero, like accounting every month to see how far off I was and just kept hustling until I got there. Whereas this year, I want to be a bit more calculated with things. And last year, I had obviously intentions and like in the back of my mind, I really wanted to be better at saving and, you know, having savings at the end of the year, like, you know, a certain number or whatever, but I didn't actually put in any actionable steps to get there. I just kind of hoped it would happen. And I thought by having an income goal, income goal that I achieved, I naturally would save more, but I didn't. So that's a huge lesson I learned last year that I need to actually focus on the saving side of it because I've got the earning side down pat and I'm very much like always listening to abundance meditations and working on my beliefs around attracting money and earning money but it's the keeping money part that's my downfall so I have set saving goals I've like reverse engineered in the engineered them well I'm gonna I'm still yet to fix up my budget and update it which I'll do tonight and I also still need to do my vision board so I save all my photos to Pinterest first now that I know what my goals are I pick photos that match, save them on a Pinterest board, and then I print them out and put them up. 
but that'll be like a nice like before bed activity but I'm just doing social posts my a real for my business account stories and sending out an email so more like actual worky type things and then I'll like have a shower and do my my mood board vision board tonight but yeah I'm feeling so good about it happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday to Molly happy birthday to you hip 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 Mousse, yeah, with vanilla bean yogurt, yum, fresh organic harvested strawberries, <laughs> and dairy milk Cadbury grated chocolate. Oh, shaved just how I shaved. like it. Oh my god, thank you. Only the best for you. You're so cute. Thank you. <laughs>